In a world where the hum of the saw is his symphony, we find our protagonist heavy, lost in the artistry of his carpentry workshop. Amid the scent of fresh sawdust and the soft groans of timber, Heavy finds his sanctuary. Every day he embarks on an odyssey, his skilled hands guiding the transformation of raw wood into pieces of art. Each piece of timber tells a story, and with every stroke of the saw, every chip of the chisel, Heavy breathes life into its narrative. His hands, roughened from years of dedication, dance with precision and technique, shaping, sanding and smoothing until the wood sings its tale. His workshop is not just a space, it's a haven where he weaves his magic, where every creation is a testament to his love for his craft. His passion echoes in the rhythmic hum of machinery, in the meticulous design of each piece. In the silence of the workshop, the only voice Heavy hears is the one echoing from the depths of the wood, telling tales of its past and future. Yet, amid the sawdust and the noise, Heavy finds a different kind of connection, one that transcends the walls of his workshop, this connection takes form in letters, letters that travel from the hand of a woman named Svetlana to the heart of our hero, Heavy. Each piece of correspondence is a breath of fresh air, a break from the monotony, a touch of the world outside. The letters filled with vivid descriptions and heartfelt sentiments become a source of inspiration for Heavy. They fuel his creativity adding a new dimension to his craft. As Heavy reads through the lines of Svetlana's letters, they not only provide him with a glimpse into another's world, but also open a window to his own soul. They help him see his work and his life from a different perspective. Each word, each letter becomes a lifeline to a world beyond the confines of his workshop, a world where Heavy is more than just a craftsman. As Heavy delves deeper into his correspondence with Svetlana, he embarks on an unexpected journey into his own soul. It's a voyage of introspection, of self-discovery, ignited by the unexpected connection with a stranger. The letters, the words, they become mirrors reflecting Heavy's own image, revealing sides of himself he'd never known. Fears long buried, desires unexpressed, they all surface demanding to be acknowledged. The raw honesty of these revelations is both terrifying and liberating. It's like peeling back layers, each one revealing a deeper truth, a closer connection to his authentic self. And as Heavy confronts these truths, his craftsmanship evolves. The chisel, the wood, they become extensions of his self-discovery. Each stroke is a confession, each finished piece an acceptance of his newfound self. His art, once a mere profession, becomes a manifesto of his journey. In the maze of his own consciousness, Heavy finds himself and in finding himself he finds his art.